Hello, this is Uday. In this video, we will learn about what is max recursion in SQL Server. So, max recursions are mainly uh, used on the recursive CTEs. So, if you are new to this channel, I would like to recommend you to please watch the separate videos on the basics of CT and the recursive CT in order to understand the max recursions better. The link of the videos are mentioned in the description below. Now coming back to the topic for the max recursions, whatever we have learned from the recursive CTs are that the recursive member in the recursive CT doesn't have an explicit uh, termination check so that whenever there is a logical error in the joint predicate in the recursive member or the problem with the result in the cycle, the recursive member can be invoked to infinite number of times. So let's try to understand this using an example. So I have got this example of a query uh, for a recursive CT where uh, I am using uh, this query as an anchor query and this is a recursive query. Let's try to execute this query first. What I can see, my anchor query re retrieves the data for an employee where employee ID is 2 and using that my recursive member invokes the reference of CTE using manager as 2 and tries to pull out the employee details. And whereas it can see the employee IDs are 3 and 5 in the next invocation of recursive, it tries to pull out the employee IDs where my manager ID is either 3 or 5. And after that, it ends up in the invocation of recursive since there are no employee IDs where my manager is either 9 or 11. So let's try to update a table and try to retrieve the same CTE. I'll try to update my employee table by setting manager as 3 for my employee ID 2. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set a manager equals 3 uh, where my employee is 2 so that uh, my join could end up in a loop and tries to uh, send the recursive query to an infinite procedure. So my table has been updated. Now let's try to execute the same CT query. My statement has been terminated saying the maximum recursion 100 has been exhausted before the statement completion and my recursive member query or the recursive query has gone into a loop until my recursion limit goes till 100. So one thing we can see here is there is a good thing that as a safety measure the SQL server by default restricts the number of times the recursive member can be invoked to 100 and the code will fail upon the 100 invocations of a recursive member. Now we can also change the default maximum recursion limit by specifying the limit options. So there is this option keyword. After that inside the bracket we can just say max recursion and gives a n integer. Now this n could be anything an integer from 0 to 32,767. I can place any number between this setting my max recursion limit to this. Now let's try by giving the number to 10 and try to execute the query. It gives the termination statement saying the max recursion 10 has been exhausted before the statement completions. In this way, statement has been terminated after the max recursion limit has been reached. So in this way, we can place any number and tries to execute my query in and see the execution results. It has been terminated after my max recursion limit and I can see the recursion loop has been ran till my max recursion reached. So there is a facility where we can altogether remove these restrictions from the SQL server 
in order to remove these restrictions i can simply give zero as a number where it just removes whatever my restrictions are for a max recursion now let's try to execute this using max recursion as zero what it does as there is no recursion limit in my query or in my sql server it goes on executing the query infinite times and and it doesn't terminates the query until my tem db has reached its maximum limit and we know that the sql server stores the inner query or the temporary result set to a work table in the tem db and this uh, work result set goes on increasing uh, until my query is executes and this the size of work folder or the tem db so when my size of work folder or my tem db has grown to a maximum limit the query will fail saying that the tem db has been full this way we can restrict the maximum number of recursions for a recursive ct now in order to uh, see our older example i mean using my valid recursion limit we can see there are two recursions been happening one where my anchor id's uh, data is been used as a uh, manager id my recursive query is again invoking the same um, ct reference and tries to retrieve the next invocation now let's try to give the max recursion to one and tries to see what happens even though there is a possibility for next result set my query has terminated since i have given the max recursion limit to one saying the max recursion one has been exhausted before the statement completion so there were more chances where my uh, query could execute further and tries to invoke, invoke more records but since i have given the max recursion limit to 1 it has terminated there so this is all about the max recursion in ct i hope this video is helpful to you please subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos thank you